Welcome to the Star to Star Yay Link Phone video presentation. This video will describe the layout and basic features included on Yay Link Phone models T41P and T42G. Since the features of both models are the same, for the purposes of this video, we'll display the T42G model. Here you see displayed the Yealink T42G model. We'll describe the layout and basic features including the handset, keypad, speaker, voicemail message indicator, and LCD screen. Yealink phones are equipped with soft keys that are contact sensitive and change depending on what function you are doing. The function appears above each key on the LCD screen. Line keys display either ringing in use, hold, or idle. The scroll key enables you to select the options on the LCD screen by pressing left, right, up, or down. Function buttons. These are used most frequently and include message, headset, mute, speakerphone, redial, and volume. Volume control. Press the volume control to adjust the receiver volume of the handset, speakerphone, or headset during a call. When the phone is idle, press the volume control button to adjust the ringer volume. Plus sign makes it louder, and the minus sign makes it softer. Making a call. To make a call using the handset, lift the handset, enter the number, and press the send soft key. You may also make a call using the speakerphone button. With the handset on the hook, press the speakerphone button and dial the number. And press send. That will connect the call. During a call, you may alternate between using the headset, hands-free speakerphone, and handset modes by pressing the headset key, or speakerphone key, or by picking up the handset. Answering a call. To answer a call using the handset, simply pick up the handset. If you want to use the speakerphone, leave the handset in place and press the speakerphone button to answer the call. If you're using a headset, press the headset button to answer the call. You may ignore an incoming call by pressing the reject soft key. And the call will go to voicemail or find me, follow me, if configured on your system. You may park a call temporarily by pressing the park button on the left side below the line appearance buttons. Starfax personal star. And the phone will automatically park the call in the first available park position. The shared park appearance button glows red, and the caller is now parked. The caller will hear music or message on hold, depending on how your system is configured. To retrieve the call, press the illuminated park position button. Redial. To use the redial feature, press the redial button to enter the dialed calls list. Press the up or down scroll button to select the desired call. Then press the redial button again or the send soft key. That will connect the call. 
You may also press the redial button twice when the phone is idle to call the last dialed number. Microphone mute. Press the mute button here to mute the microphone during a call. And you see it glows in red. Press the mute button again to unmute the call. This phone holds the directory of all users on the system and is automatically added by the star to star system. To access the directory, press the directory soft key and select remote phone book and company directory. And here you see company directory has been preloaded on the phone. You can also do a search on the directory, press the search button. And by using the keypad, you can type in a name and you can find a person that way and then scroll up and down and then click OK to call that contact. Designated speed dial buttons can be configured on your phone by using the Star to Star web portal. When configured, press the designated speed dial key to dial out the preset number. Placing a call on hold. To place a call on hold, press the hold key during an active call. If there is only one call on hold, press the hold or resume soft key. And if there is more than one call on hold, press the up or down soft key to select the desired call and then press the hold or resume soft key. Do not disturb. To put your phone on a do not disturb status, press the soft key below the DND display on the LCD screen. And you see DND is on the screen. To remove do not disturb status, press the DND button again. Blind transfer. There are three ways to transfer a call. Blind transfer, which is unannounced, attended transfer, which is announced, and semi-attended transfer, where the call is transferred when you hear the ringback tone. To complete a blind transfer, press the transfer button or transfer soft key during an active call. The Starfax personal starlet within the Star to Star application frame and the call will be placed on hold. Enter the number you want to transfer to and press the transfer button or transfer soft key again. Attended transfer. Press the transfer button or transfer soft key during an active call. And the call will be placed on hold. Enter the number you want to transfer to. And when the second party answers, press the transfer soft key to connect the call. Semi-attended transfer. Press the transfer button or transfer soft key during an active call.
And again, the call will be placed on hold. Enter the number you want to transfer to. And press the transfer button or transfer soft key when you hear the ring back tone. Find me, follow me. Use the star to star find me, follow me feature in the star to star web portal to forward your calls from your extension. Follow me immediate. Calls to your extension will be sent automatically to the number you define. Find me sequential. Calls to your extension will ring your extension and any other numbers that you define in order. And find me all. Calls to your extension will ring your extension and any other numbers that you define all at once. Three-party conference call. To conference a call, press the conference button or conference soft key during an active call. And the call will be placed on hold. Enter the number of the second party. And press the send soft key. Press conference or the conference soft key again when the second party answers. And now all parties will be joined in the call. When you hang up, you will be disconnected and the other parties will remain connected. You also have the option to split the conference call into two individual calls by pressing the split soft key. Voicemail. When you have new voice messages, the message key LED will light up, as shown here. To listen to your voice messages, press the message key. Password Enter the password. You have one new message. Press one for new messages. Press first message. And you may also check your voicemail by dialing 1000 to access the voicemail system at any time. Call history. To see your call history, press the history soft key. This will bring up a list of your calls on this phone. And you can scroll up and down to see the list of calls. Changing ringtones. To change the ringtone on your phone, press the menu button, scroll down to settings, basic, scroll down to sound, and select ringtones. And number one, common ringtones. And here you can select different versions of ringtones. And once you've decided on your ringtone, press save to save that ringtone. Receptionist mode. Generally, a call will always appear on the first line appearance of a phone unless the system has been configured to point a DID line to a specific line appearance on the phone. With a user busy on a call, notification of a subsequent call will be via a call waiting tone, if configured, in the ear, and a phone display change. This is not always convenient or practical for a busy administrator. By using a simple configuration change, using the receptionist mode option in the portal configuration extensions link will ensure that incoming calls to the extension will roll down the line appearance keys. And as you see, the calls go down on the line appearance for each call coming in. For more information on this phone and others supported by Star to Star Communications, visit the Star to Star web portal and view or download the phone and features guide available online. Thank you for watching this Yay Link Phone Features video presentation.